Bro, that my, that song is is astronomically long for just white screen stuff. I need to change up my playlist. Th this is like an old ass playlist from when I was in high school, high school to to like my early twenties. So my my taste in music has not changed at all. It's just <laughs> I need copyright free music. <laughs> That's mainly it. All right, please, the finishing game. Oh, is it because they, oh, you're kind of loud. Why are you loud? This game uses the auto save feature. Do not turn off the game when you see the symbol. F. Oh, do I have to hold it down? I have to hold it down, dredging the devs. All right, first thing, set it, oh, ah! Okay. Oh, that's still kind of... I'll leave character voices up. I'll turn on Master Volume a little bit more. I've done nothing but listen to Sky Skyrim Icebergs for the last couple... Like, as in, like, the I iceberg charts that people make? What is it, Sauce? You're saying, oh, like, you got something. I swear to God, if it's not safe... Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Congratulations, I guess. <laughs> okay, I, I know realistically nothing about this game. All I know is that I got a bow and it's fishing. Job listing. Angler wants it. Ooh, I love the art style already. <laughs> I mean, I am happy for you. It's just... I don't know. I'm not that... The idea of, like, not safe work is... Like, eh. Just, just to me, the idea of it. Like, no, no, I, I am happy that you got it and, and you're happy about it. <laughs> okay, see ya, Sauce. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sip all right. You're lying in the co on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. <laughs> a short man is shot... A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to, to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well, I'm glad our new to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I found, had a few locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish, see if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay, a little too quiet now. Can I move my mouse out? No. Okay, so let's... It's on portal this window. So it should just let me... But it doesn't. Alright, I'm gonna have to actually tab out. So, where am I? Cargo, boat speed, 24 knots. Fishing speed, 85%. Lights, I have no lights. Catchable fish types, coastal damage. Basic fishing pole, install time, 2 hours. Status operational, fishing speed, 35%. Splintered and fragile, this rod is only capable of catching the smallest of fish. Peculiar engine. 
Someone tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. What can I press E for? Oh, just switch? Oh, Q and E, just let me switch. No messages. My map is... Twisted Strand, Devil's Spine, Gale Cliffs, Stellar Basin. Encyclopedia. Oh, this is just fish encyclopedia. No, I already checked that. Pursuits. A fresh start. Catch fish for the day. Met the mayor of Greater Merrill, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Want me to be back before nightfall, though. Said something about fog. Bit dramatic. Do I have a character I can move around? No. Move forward, W, use S to reverse. Turn with A and D. Oh, okay. I guess just start fishing, yeah. Called species data added to encyclopedia. Oh, and then I have to put in my inventory. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, there's inventory management stuff. Another cod. Okay, let's let's see what else there is. I saw there's a thing over there. Oh, it's a method bottle. I hate I hate myself. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Stock low shapes in the deep. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's cool. I didn't want to actually fish anyway. Uh, there's small fish here and then big fish there. Blue mackerel? So, th so there's like a timing mechanic to this. Which gives me more power as a shadow, <laughs> as a shadow hearts player. <laughs> I'm gonna suck at this game. These look like big boys. Stock low. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Oh, am I going too far out now? Yeah, I figured it wasn't going to let me catch. And it should start being nighttime soon, right? This is... So it's 5 o'clock right now. Yeah, I'm just going to start going back. Select your... Lights by pressing E, then toggle them with right click, but make you more visible to visible to what? Excuse me. Foghorn, make your presence known. Get a closer look. Okay, yeah, there there is definitely something out there. But I can still fish.
Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay, so I don't need to go back yet, right? Okay, I'm going back. My light just instantly turned off. Uh, uh. Oh, that was crusty. You step onto the great dock of Greater Mar Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Oh god. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> Help me. Oh, why did that burn? Oh, Christ. Oh. Oh, I see you turn in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary fans, funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keep the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay. Uh fresh. Oh, okay, right. Resist from the deep depths at night to feed or be fed upon. Plentiful and basic. Practically worthless, but enough to starve, stave off hunger. Cabin. Messages. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the isles and inlets at the back of the Greater Merrill. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in the shallow, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, at least you, will, you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old man on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he's he prepared a surprise picnic one. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic at lunch. I can see the basket half hidden and stuffed under a blanket in front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Encyclopedia. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I caught all the coastal stuff? No, I have not. Not even close. Okay. Practically worthless. Okay, so what? What is this? What are these? Hello? Are these mutants? Okay, doesn't. Oh, these black dots might be areas I can. More? Is that the term mooring? Met the met the mayor with me. Those said something about fog, but dramatic, same stuff. The mayor has asked me to sell what I caught to the fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Vise blows haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised I found a new one so fast. What's your name? There's no sense of getting familiar. You'll be on your way like the rest of them soon, no doubt. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just more worth more, too. Other towns on the other islands, islands might pay different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work out on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got.
The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Research part. A mysterious, a curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need to first, need some investigation at dock first. Wait, who the, whomst the hell? Oh, someone. Ooh. It actually worked. It actually did something. Right, I I guess I'll take it. Oh, one last thing. A local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Oh no, I forgot to tap back. Okay, there we go. Uh okay, so the game isn't actually progressing right now, which is which is fine. Uh I I wanna go back to the fishmonger a little bit. Because this man. Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seems to be rising from the west. Oh, I didn't actually come here to say anything to you. I just. So, yeah, this man has reminded me of one of like one of the most depressing things I had ever seen when I was younger. And that was one time when I went to Mexico. There it. Hang on. I hear something. Drywall might be doing something. I'll be back. I was op trying to open my brother's leopard gecko's cage. <sighs> Drywall, if you eat that, you're gonna die. You're gonna have the poops. And you, you already went like three times earlier today or something. All right. So anyway, back back to what I was saying. So one time when I was in Mexico, there there's like um a guy who was basically doing like a, like a ceviche cart like right outside a barber shop. Ceviche essentially just being like a seafood salad. That's the easiest way to think of it. Like that that's not that's not the right way to think of it whatsoever. But that's like the easiest way to get it across. Jesus Christ, drywall. Uh, research, undock, shipwright. And I like going there. That's one of my favorite things to do whenever I go to Mexico. Because he just has good ceviche. Anyway, we went there. And it turns out that between the last time I had gone to Mexico. Which is like, I don't know, 11 years or something. And when I went this one time. Uh, the guy who owned the ceviche cart. Bought out the, the owner of the barber. And he was using it as like an area to to hold all his stock and stuff. And when I was in there. Hang on, I see drywall looking at something. God, I better not have more ants again. Oh, drywall. What is it? Do you see ants? Drywall, you're just being weird. Drywall, you're just being weird. Cut it out. Okay, but yeah. The last time I went there, the most depressing thing I had ever seen, well, one of the most depressing things I had ever seen, was just this, like, really, really old man. This really thin, frail, like, 
just hunched over old man. He was he was working inside the barber and he had two different buckets in front of him. One was full of shrimp. No, it would be three buckets then. Yeah, it was it was three buckets then. He had a bucket of shrimp, a bucket of the shells, and a bucket of the of the of the shelled shrimp. Unshelled shrimp. The guy was just spending his whole time just peeling shrimp. And he looked so absolutely miserable. He looked like he had to do this, or he was literally gonna have a gun pointed to his head if he want, if he wasn't doing it. <laughs> oh my god, it was <laughs> just that man's face. I will never forget like the pure misery he had in his face. <laughs> uh Hey, what's up, Nine? As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to the damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Yeah, it was... It was just really depressing. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from rocks or any... Or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember. The bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Wait, do I have money on me? Yes, I do. I'll spend another day just doing coastal fishing. Oh, can I, can I talk to the mayor? What can I do? What can I do you for? I wanna, uh, oh, I can talk to people. What happened to the last fisherman? Hmm? The last fisherman. I'm back from quite literally the worst food room ever. <laughs> well, what happened? Oh, this truck I was already gonna go to, uh, they had their lights on. They had their, like, their, like, metal gate closed. So like I knocked, I waited like three minutes, nobody there. Okay, might as well not. Okay, I guess. I couldn't get to the food truck that you're interested in too because it was inconvenient to get there, so I took this way. Then I saw the nice food truck, I was like, oh shit, they're open. I went up there, sorry man, we're closing, we just ran out of ingredients. I go to that food truck, they just have their light on, it's closed. The market right next to them, like, oh wait, I heard they have ice easers, might as well try it. Like, yeah, I shut it off because the noise was annoying. And then I just got these from the market there. <laughs> They're literally the worst food room. Well, you got hot pockets. Oh, yeah, yeah. It makes me want to kill myself more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He also was a terrible captain. I mean... Really terrible. Constantly running around on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do with you for? Certainly. There's someone particular wish to know more about? Well, the main port over there is just called Ingafail. It's right on the cliff, uh, on the approach of the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a welling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Hmm. Quite a popular tourist destination, the resort on the atoll built on top of a beautiful coral reef. 
I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those? Twisted strand. Hmm. I don't think there's much to tell. That's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're going to explore there. Ah <clears throat> oh, yes, it's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. Excuse me? I must caution against selling there, however. The ruins lie low in water and would surely tear through your hole. Not to mention the affirmation of volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. I'd like to pay off some of my debt. Of course. How much would you like to repay? Fantastic. Now what else can I do you for? I should go back to fishing. How much money do I have now? 66? The mayor is walking towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Mayor is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. This is a dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're taking extra space. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal, scraps, that sort of thing. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Hey, what's up, Nox? How's it going? How's Mars? Oh, Christ. Well, I'm gonna die. I, re I really like the, the visual style for this game so far. I, I'm okay. I'm alright. I went to get my car service and it was, it was a pretty big payment. It was like close to $600, but it was something I needed to get done. So I got it done. Okay. You have nothing to talk about now. Research? Oh, research parts. Oh, okay. Use parts to research new equipment. Research equipment were pale. will appear for sale in shops. Oh, okay. Hydraulic rod. Okay. Oh, 400. <coughs> and that's all I can do? I think I'm... Yeah, that's all I can do. But yeah, I want to get my car serviced. And usually... Like, my mom keeps telling me, Oh, why don't you take it down to the dealership that's over here? Because it's closer. And I was like, yeah, but if I take it to the one that's farther away, I can get food while I'm there. I can get something that I don't normally get to eat that often. Hydrate? Okay. I have a drink with me. I have... San Pellegrino. Uh, orange flavor. Oh, why does that burn? I did- I did buy more. So I did get some more blood orange. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, 
I didn't really feel like getting ramen today because every time I go there, I get ramen and I'm like, it's all right, but I'm never super happy about it. Um, I mean, the car is fine. It's not looking fine, though. Like a lot of stuff has happened to that car in the four or five years I had it. Like it run, it, it's running fine, but it 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 has gone through some stuff. Like it has so many scratches that are just that have just mysteriously appeared there, and the bumper. Like my brother one time hit the bumper like on the side, so it sticks out just a little tiny of a fraction. So it's not a big deal, but you can see that like yeah, it got it got something happened there. No, this isn't a driving thing at all. This is just, like these these scratches and things just literally mysteriously show up. Okay. And there there is a place near there where I get my car service that has euros. And I I think they're really good. Uh but I went to go check and they were empty and I was like, okay, this is weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to be the only person in here eating. They do, they do just appear. I'm going to take everything that I can. Ooh, I can inspect this. A floating boy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides brief respite in the gloom of the night. Oh, I had my light on. Oh, this is shallow. Those are flounders. And last time I went there, I saw that there was a burger place. So I was like, okay. I kind of regretted it. Like, the fries were good. The fries were actually really good. Um, and that's kind of about it. Like, the burger was juicy, which was, like, I, I appreciate that the patty was actually really juicy. What the hell is this? Oh, I can't, I can't get this anyway. Yeah, it was a juicy burger. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so many damn macros. Like the burger I had had um hatch chilies in it, and it was it was super plain, and it was it was it was awful. Like I don't I don't know how you have hatch chilies on a burger and it's. And it's still just plain. Like, hatch chili should be delicious. They should be incredible. Can I go faster? Okay, so that's another spot. <laughs> I'm running out of space. I can only I can only do like one more and maybe a mackerel. Or I can try and also hello Zoy Techie aspiring VTuber that's gonna hopefully have their debut soon. It's gonna be soon, right? Have you announced that? I don't know. going back oh no okay what is it when when did I switch what did my inventory switch hmm 
You know, I want to see something. Because it says that there's fog, but I don't know if it's like a literal fog. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's that's a fog. That's a, that's a literal fog. What was that? Why is there music? But yeah, I should have just gotten a euro. I, it would have been safer. I would have been fulfilled. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Yeah. I mean, I just started. The, I think the art's fantastic. They asked for one gold flounder. I mean, that's probably true. And one great eel. Just bring them when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to bring, catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Hmm. Alright, uh, sell everything. Yeah, let's fucking go. A hunch woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Just the person I was hoping to see. When you be selling out east towards Little Merrill, would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's stripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick, quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Alright. Pursuits. Oh, is that where I need... Is that is that Little Meryl? Like, I, I assume the gameplay loop becomes a little more, um, flushed out once you start progressing more in the game. Because I, I really don't see why you wouldn't just be fishing the whole day, come back, and then just sleep until the morning. I really don't see why you wouldn't do it that way, because there's like, right now there's no way for me, there's no reason for me to go outside either. Just like in real life. Hmm. What? One delivery? Yeah, how about they, they like, don't ask me to do that, th though. How about they just try and keep me safe? He tears a small hole, hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Oh, yeah. Nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm going to pay you, I suppose. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Sustainable fishing. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know can you, how lonely it can be. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's back with antiques. The shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? What is that? No. Ah. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? 
No. No. Okay, so you just you just sell stuff. Okay. Stingray? That's a stingray. Yeah. Oh my god, you're big. Oh, you take up so much space. How how do how do I make this work? Okay. <laughs> Just two fucking stingrays take up so much space. Oh, I should probably read the book that's about sustainable fishing. Oh, oh yeah, I can rotate the rods when I have them. Or it's not letting me. I can only discard it. Like, I, I can pick this up and rearrange it. Nox, am I by the lady right now? Am I am I close to her? Is she on the boat with me? Is that something I can do in this moment? Nox! Goddamn bite your face. I'll go feral on you. What? <laughs> How can they be mistakes if it's not something I can fix right now? That was a now problem. It wasn't a later problem. Shapes in the water. I can't do anything. I just need small fish. Yes, I can fit a lot of mackerels. We had a slight incident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Merrill. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it just, but it jostled us around, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which some of it, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Oh. Past time to read. Oh, so will it literally just autofill while I'm fishing? Or just finding locations to fish? Hmm. I want to flounder. You know what? I'm going to go back and sell this stuff. So that I can go back to the lady and adjust my fishing rod. Which I can only do here. Don't overcommit yourself, especially when that sunset's going down. Better to come back with a small catch than not come back at all. Uh. 
pointed line. Oh, this is the one I yeah, this is the one I have right now. And then the hydraulic rod. You can research a rod that can do both the rods you have right now. Yeah, I probably should have actually looked at what the rods do instead of just going, ooh, engine. I actually no, that wasn't a that wasn't even an engine. I think it was another hydraulic rod. I just made things worse for myself. Makes a decent effort of chunning through the gloom. Yeah, I'll buy this. If I, I can, yeah, it lets me. I think this is probably better. And then dry dock, is there anything I can do there? You have right here the dry dock. Yeah, I don't have any materials. I want materials. Let's see what I can catch at night. Oh boy, I hope I don't get annihilated by some ghost. Oh, I see something. Is that something shiny? Shiny? Ooh. Ooh, eels. Roper. Okay, I'll go back now. What was that? Come on, come on, go faster. I'm scared now. Go faster, go faster, go faster. How come there's an eye looking? Man, I really wish I knew nine. I really wish I knew why there was an eye looking at me at the top. whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on nice until it's all ready to go. I have both of them. Oh no, I don't have the flounder. I got the eel. Could be useful to you. And hands you a damp battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Oh no, I, I, I wanted to sell. Yeah, I'm the only fisherman. The game starts out with me basically taking up I don't I don't know if it's contract or just like um a job. Um but when I come here, I end up just um having an incident. So this isn't even my boat. This is a boat that the that the mayor essentially loaned out to me and I just paid like the first thing I did was paid off the loan. Under 28, so I can't buy anything. <laughs> Damn, nine, you're right. So, since I'm fishing in the daytime, daytime eventually, what is that? Hang on, I'm. 
I want to know what that is. There's no way I'm catching up to it, though. There is no... Why is there so much happening right now? Anyway, back to what I was going to ask. So since I'm fishing out in the daytime, well, <laughs> will my will my panic eventually just go down? Okay, yeah, the the eye is gone, so I'm assuming yes. I don't think I can catch this. Yeah. Not the right equipment. Yeah, but I'm not going to sleep in the middle of the day. I already do that in real life. I'm not going to do that in a video game. That's another port. So I don't have to stay at my port. I can just go there if I want. I should check. My OBS just muted me. Okay, how long have I been muted? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Shut up. A, a while? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, hi, hello, Wizardess Stacy. Are you fine with just Wizard? 
Or, no, are you I'm just making... Oh my god, I'm mixed up now. Uh, what do you mean I'm exploring earlier than... How long, how long were you just, like, staying at the base? Like, I'm a fisherman. I'm, I'm here to catch exciting fish. I want to catch a shark. I want to catch a whale. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door opens. A pair of fancy guys peer out at you. Who goes there? What do you want? Okay. No, I'm not interested in that. Thank you. Not at the moment, at least. I stay by the Merrills until quests lead me further. Oh, okay. So you just kind of live there. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Merrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted it for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package to Little Mare for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Oh, this is kind of big. Oh, no, I gotta sell my fish. The carrier pushes the only brown package to the door hole. It sculptures slightly as you take the hole. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is, bound, this is bound for the dark worker, Little Merrill. I'm not sure what's inside, but... Listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintness of whispers coming from it. Alright, have a good nap, Nox. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. I don't have the equipment, so... Just be careful with that this, this thing, whatever it is. Hey, why don't you take this, too? Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and thuds into the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Alright, so I'm lost? Holy Jesus. Alright, I am going the right way. Uh, yeah, part of the reason I was excited to play this game, um, so there was a bit of a time where I was reading, uh, Eldritch Horror stuff, like, just looking it up, and there was, what is that? Hang on. A slab of rock just from the water, bearing crude symbols of carved fish. At its base, our shape has been chiseled away. Okay. It's just a fishing game. I'm just fishing. Oh yeah, there there was a, a book I read during like the time when I was reading Eldritch Horror stuff. It was I believe it was just called The Fisherman. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the pair of rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bones brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of the structure of vast columns of stones shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long will until it's decay it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. But yeah, during this time I read a book called um I, I am pretty sure it's just called The Fisherman. At some point it becomes a story within a story, but it is like 
hands down one of the best things I read for for Elder Chore when I was in in that like mood of reading Elder Chore. Oh no, they're rotting. They can have it. No one lives under the lighthouse then. Send me a link to it. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black go groper. Grouper? Grouper? Don't see many people fishing squids these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what likes are, nights are like around here. Good luck. Yeah, that was my bad. I spent too long, way too long out. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed, um, what's it called? I forgot the name of it. Uh, I really enjoyed the lighthouse. No, the fisherman. Because it's essentially, um, their El eldritch entity of choice, eldritch entity of choice was the, um, the Leviathan essentially. And during the story within the story, uh, it's talking about like, hey, this is kind of the history of the land. And it's talking about how, um, as, ew. Tentacles sprout from a growing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. Huh. And part of the reason I really like this book was because a big deal, like a big, big focus on it was the idea of, of uh, loss and grief because um, the main character had an incident where he ended up losing his family. Um, and then it's talking about like when that happened, he, he took up fishing as a way to like spend his time so he wouldn't be spending so much time focusing on like you know what happened for some reason fallout have bits and pieces of older horror stuff and it's weird but interesting at the same time i know that the first fallout game has like that one bio com like bio human computer thing and that's weird Okay, so I don't have anything. Uh, so goodbye. Uh, but yeah, his... His co-worker ends up... Having an incident where he loses his family. Um, because of a drunk... Drunk driving incident. And like a lot of the early part of the book is like his, his co-worker is like talking about his grief because the main character, he wants to help his co-worker because he's he, like, he's in the exact same situation of like, yeah, I lost my family. Um, this is what I did to try and help myself. The master. Well, I don't know what you're talking about then. Oh, that's not horror. That's just on uh, was mutated, mutated. Bit. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about Fallout. I don't play one of their games. Just leave whatever you have here. I have one little squiddy, and I have two little squiddy. You hand the girl test fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before it, inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, now this is sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. And yeah, I, I think a big part of the reason I, I like the fisherman was just because it does delve into the concept of grief, loss and grief so much. Like that, that's like basically the main driving force. 
because his co-worker at some point i remember this he's talking to to the main character his co-worker is uh one night after after his co-worker is having like a particularly bad day and he he tells the main character like yeah every day before work like in the in in the middle of night or something i've been driving out to where my family had the car incident and there there's a stoplight there now which wasn't there when the incident happened and i i just keep thinking to myself if that was if that was there on that day they had the incident maybe maybe it wouldn't have happened what at all and it's like it's it's a classic tale of um a guy who lost like lost someone he cared about is is essentially using like eldritch powers to try and bring him back and that's the thing that happens in the story within the story it's a story of a woman who came back from the dead and she came back like essentially as a walking drowned corpse who was filled with like tadpoles and stuff like there's one part where she's puking and it just turns out that it's just black tadpoles drywall what the hell are you doing Price, you were so ugly. And yeah, I just I just really like it. He runs his finger firmly along the length of the fish. I'm probably in fact gonna read it again. As though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of the stomach and a small shape can be seen. Against the bulging scales. Oh, Christ, I'm dying. Help me. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a del delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish, too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. A once beautiful cat drawn from the insides of grotesque quiz pattern with a delicate crimson thread. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face through excuse me, through my cabin window. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out this boy bay and cut south. I have business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay, but you're you're in my cabin. You're in my cabin. I can't I can't fish for any upgrades yet. So in the morning, I'll go drop off that package. I uh, can't really do anything with this. Already have a light. So yeah, I think I'll just rest. I need black... Grouper. Which I think is around Little Merrill. Nice. Let's read another book. Rods will reel in fish 10% uh, more efficiently. Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll grab one.
Just one, though. <clears throat> okay, so I can't sell this. So what do you consider trinkets? Oh, I have to specifically click on the dock worker. How's the day treating you? We've got a package here for you. Delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. Takes a large packet and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wish me luck. He turns and hurries down, off down the dock without another word. To you. Or compensation. Oh! You didn't give me money. Okay, this is... That should be easy. Encyclopedia. I need... I need grouper. Oh, are you not a coastal fish? I thought you were a coastal fish. Are you shallow? Excuse me? Is that a jellyfish? Okay, yeah, you are shallow water. So I think you're around here. And yeah, I'm going the right way. <clears throat> All right, fine. I'll, I'll just get these so I have something to sell. Alright, I'll leave I'll leave it good enough for now. If these things start rotting then I will just throw them back. Looks like eels. Yeah, those are eels. Oh. Okay. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Oh, it jiggle. Oh, it has jiggle physics. I hate that. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Bait shame stats upon its first surface, surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. Yeah, the cold stone doesn't respond really to your touch. Oh, okay. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. It's locked. The man is standing in a doorway watching your approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am collector of many things. Arts and artifacts, treasures and truths. And carios that occupy the per periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. 
It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be a challenge. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wreck in dark depths. Find me those lost relics and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours of your vessel to make the necessary altercations. What do you say? Yeah, I want to dredge. Let me dredge. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay, so all my fresh fish is still fresh. So I'm going to go and... I'm going to go and sell my stuff. Um, find the key in the marrows. Okay. The fishmonger at Greater received a special order. <clears throat> oh, black groupers are only at night. Okay. Oh, wait. Is that for black groupers and... Hang on. Okay, it is a night fish. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm on the way. Oh, I like this one. I like that little mini game. Okay, fresh. Alright. Uh, most of my stuff is either fresh or stale. It's not rotting, though. Oh, they're... They're people. Fishmonger first.
Okay, did that do anything? Oh, now I disconnected my thing. <laughs> you can see my microphone. Did that do anything? Hold up, you guys are going to hear my stream. Hold up, you guys are gonna hear my stream. Okay, no, that's better, right? Hold up, you guys are gonna hear my stream. Okay, no, that's better, right? Hold up, you guys are gonna hear my stream. Okay, no, that's better, right? Hold up, you guys are gonna hear my stream. Yeah, it seems like it's better now. We can repair that here. Lighthouse Keeper. Have you heard any strange things happening? Who lives on Blackstone Isle? See a lot up from here, you know? I see that ill-fated boat return. I choose to look the other way. I'm watching a natural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from the top of this high house. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds a lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow arising from that patch of dark water. Can't imagine what's down there in that in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Yeah. Well, I heard that my current counterpart in Little Marrow, that my counterpart in Little Marrow met the most unfortunate end. They say he went quite mad suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mare is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Now, what else can I do for you? Do you know any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks? Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but it even struggles to cut through the but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur on this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There's still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You want to avoid that area. Now, what else can I do for you? Blackstone Isle? Hmm, I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of Little Merrill. I believe it was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. They must have had a special arrangement. Such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. I've not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. That all seems quite un uninhibited. 
uh, uninhabited. Nox sauce. How's the audio for you guys? Is it better? Nine says it's it's okay now. One common crab, one filler crab. Okay. You approach a woman sitting on the dock side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Seal Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there too. You'd be welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have any when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Steel Point, Greater Merrill. Yeah, I think I might sell the crap pot with Ian deploy it with. Okay. They catch things over time, but need repairing every so often. Alright, see us all. Take care. Alright, I'm just gonna look for some dredge. Oh, that's, that's big. That takes up a lot of space. Is there going to be mutated fish here? Why is this area glowing? Sprawling jelly mass spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupils infect the center of an egg. What? Is it still glowing? No. Okay. So I guess glowing means that there's um a mutated fish there. I think these are just macros, right? Yeah. All that's left on of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Oh. Ooh, research part. Okay, fuck off, mackerel.
I need flounders. Not flounders. Trout? Is it trout? Well, I gotta find... What is that? Oh, that's where I put the crab pots. I don't know why I collected that. It was just more wood. I, I literally can't do anything with this. Not interested in squid. Okay, so what do I need? Encyclopedia. Yeah. Pursuits. Two lumber, two scrap. Is that what I have right now? Metal scraps, lumber, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop this fish off. And I think that's literally all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do research. Okay, nothing needs fixing right now. Volcanic shallow and grove coastal. Oh, I should see if I can buy a hydraulic rod. Moth like thirty gold, damn it. All right, let's go check on the crabs. If I have both the crabs, then I'll just take them. No. Okay, I'll leave them. I'll leave them for another day. Okay, so I'm going the wrong way. So I'm going to go to the fishing cabin first. No, the, the curio guy. And then I'll go to Steel Point. Grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. 
these days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? Well, you see... Well, you see... He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks. All alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering. I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. point okay we're gonna I forgot I, I still don't have that much space I can catch one more all right let's see if I can find that shrine again Why, why, do, why does it have the dredging sign? Or not the dredging sign, but like there's wood. I wish I could mark spots on my map. Oh, Abyssal. I can't catch that. I don't remember where that weird shrine was. Oh, there it is. Right there. Convenient. Wave watches over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something that was, has lodged against the rock. Sinew spindle. A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a fishing hook. It's... Okay, okay, I see. Alright. Yeah, I'll... Take it. Oh, I think it's there. Yeah. I should have my light on. I'm being dumb.
Okay, that, that boat is coming towards me. Oh, oh shit. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I lost the whole reason I came here. Uh, so I'm just going to rest. And yeah. That was honestly terrifying. I honestly hated that. Oh, there's something over there. What is that? Metal scraps take up so much space. Especially since my, my hull is actually damaged. Uh, I can... Check out that area. I don't think I can catch these. I think this is oceanic. Yeah. Oh, I'm saved! Saved! Or are you aside for the Soros? You look terrible, are you okay? I bet I do. I've certainly felt better. I've been chewing on seaweed and sawfish for longer than I like. I washed up here. It must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me but now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? Ah. Uh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you give me a little Meryl, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next up by. I... <laughs> I have to make space for the passenger. Okay, okay. I... I think I can... Do it. The castaway climbs aboard.
The one strong wooden hull lays broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely beached. You pull a bit closer and manage to climb around to the back of the wreck. You look around. Ooh, there's some stuff here. Bolts of cloth. Metal scraps. I want the research part. I'll take the pearl earrings. Old cloth I can fit. I'll try and come back for the metal scraps. If I even know... Yeah, I just literally got to circle around this island. Not this bullshit again. Take the cast away to Little Marrow, return to the builder. We're just gonna, we're just gonna rest. I ain't, I ain't dealing with no angler, angler, goddamn fish. Oh, there's something here. I don't have any fish, am I? Okay, no, I don't have any fish. put this in another spot okay that should be that should be enough space the stone skin on this ray is molded around a black crystal shard the rock fragments articulate and grind together all right so I don't have space for the scrap metal now Like, when it's daytime, this game is, is relaxing. It's comfy. When it's not Dame Tai, though, fuck this game. <laughs> Hold up. Checking something. I hate that. I'm just checking my Discord because I'm getting a message. Well, not getting, but I've had a message. Wait, who said a thing? The spider infestation problem is mostly resolved. <laughs> okay. We can go back to jamming now. Oh, the sweet rank smell. <laughs> rank smell civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. Someone who has just been saved. He looks gloomy. I've not got much on me. As you can imagine, I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me at least, but perhaps it'll be worth something for you. He removes the signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with the symbol of a captain's wheel. Hmm. 
Nah, you keep it. Okay, I thought he was gonna be like really happy or something. That, that... <laughs> Damn it! I gave that up for nothing. All right, let's check the crab pots. Huh. Oh, that's a fiddler crab. All right. Damn, boy, you take up a lot of space. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to leave that mutated fish behind because I do not have space. I can probably make space. Yeah, I can make space. What do I have? What do I have? Okay. Fresh. Okay, well, uh, 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 no, no, I can't think of a way to make this fit. I would literally throw the fish away. All right, what did I get it? Resilience to panic. Okay, good, cool, great. Mom, I threw up on my bed. Can I sleep with you tonight? You've done it? Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. I, ma'am, I do not have the space. Have you got any crabs for that order? Don't forget, if your crab pots get a bit worn out, the shipwright should be able to patch them up. The fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. This'll do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here and repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request. Excuse me. You want me to catch deformed fish? They, they all have like three varieties or something. What do you think happens to the person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They go mad? Well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, and it will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Have you got any of those mutants with you now? Sir? Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. Sir. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his, round, his hands around its slimy body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. Why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Okay, okay. Are you gonna? Are you gonna be okay? Hmm. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need and leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. Okay. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the he heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it.
to also hold nets. I want to hold nets. Yeah, I'll do nets. Ninety. Okay, well I, I have a lot of money right now. Okay. So then I'll just do some research. Heat resistant line, anti tank line, general coastal. Efficient propeller design makes this reasonable engine for those on a budget. I'm gonna work towards <laughs> Relatively new design, this unit propels water through the system more efficiently than outboard propeller setups. Wait, but this is slower. Efficient crab pot. With improved design, this crab pot should be more effective at catching creatures. Additional strengthening to last longer in the water. More spacious, efficient design to more before it needs emptying. Correct engine operation. Oh, you're expensive. This is 14, this is 15. It's only improvement by one. I mean, I guess part of the thing is that if you get badly damaged enough, then you won't be able to um, then you'll have to buy a new engine, basically, is what I'm guessing. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. Is he dead? Oh wait, yeah, start reading. Mutated fish, mutated fish. Staring outwards on blinking eyes borrowed from a larger being. Borrowed, but not the mind to process what it sees.
Okay, I, I thought there might have been a chance I'd catch something else. So I'm just going to go straight back and sell this fish. If I can. I'm not sure if I can, actually. We'll find out. Okay. Um Please, I can still sell it to you, Stale. Ah. Uh, blinding headache today. Did you come by us today? I don't recall anyway. What can I do for you? What's over here? I don't Okay, this is this is where I have to go for steel point. Little mirror. Oh, okay, that's That's where his son's belt buckle would be. slightly off course. Mm, I can go and get that scrap. Hang on. I'm going to see... No, we'll try around there. Put some stingray. That looks like dredge. Oh, there's a mutated fish there. Okay, I'll drop her off. And I'll drop my crab pots here. This is an easy enough spot to remember. this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built to you. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. There you are. A 
Oh, there's going to be mackerel here. Gills plates dotted with eyeballs. Super flourish, but scanning frantically all I see right through. This game doesn't have to have these kind of descriptions. Cod, blue mackerel. Uh, I guess I can hang around Little Marrow. Just so my ship doesn't get destroyed, because I feel like that's going to happen. What happens if my panic gets really high? Oh, I see. Wow, I see three mutated spawns. Were those teeth? Tasting tongues with writhe wildly around sets of yellow crooked teeth. The top row flattened like human molars. Oh, okay. Now nah, that's cool. Black tip reef shark. Left mouth shot. Oh, holy crap. I see it. Okay, I just lost a regular squad, that's fine. Christ, how do I deal with that angler fish thing? Oh, I stayed out until it was daytime. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Tired eyes won't fare well in these waters. Okay, everyone is telling me to sleep. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I have to finish all these. Or no, I only needed to finish one of them. Complex crap pot. Who needs sleep when there's fish to catch? Christ, it's disgusting. Switch for relics, find the belt buckle near a little marrow. Yeah, so it should just be on the very back of it. Is it a little closer? A little more. Oh, mackerel. Gladly take that. There is a lot of dredge here. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Maybe. Is that it? Yeah. Yes, I made space. I don't want to move. I didn't think this through. The anglerfish is going to be around here. Okay, what is this? Oh. That just hella makes me panic. I can't get that.
<laughs> I'm on land. What are you going to do now? Hello. Is everything okay? About that belt buckle. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please. Take this. I'm not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. Sitting on a deck is handed to you. It's covered in dust, but otherwise seems in good condition. Alright. Uh, encyclopedia. Oh, there's a miss. Oh, it's in Gelcliffe's. Okay, and the rest of these should just be aberrations. Let's go check out my crab pots. I'm running on like the bare minimum of sleep. Just like in real life. Twelve hour shifts? I'll be fine on five hours of sleep. Hell, I'll be fine on four. Why am I fishing? I don't need anything. Get out of here. Only want mutated stuff. <clears throat> well, I also want supplies. Yeah, I'll see what's over there. I see a shape. See what's over here. Like I'll just catch stuff, just for the sake of filling out my encyclopedia. But I'm not gonna keep stuff. Probably. Yeah, you're a big, you're a big lad. It's going to get dark soon.
Yeah, and there's nothing over here. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Why aren't I turning around? Because I'm dumb, that's why. It's okay, if there's nothing over here, I can pass the time by fishing. That that's my that's my grand plan for here. Damn it, yeah, there's nothing here. It's okay, because I got my grand plan. The just fish until time passes plan. Alright, not enough time is passing. I don't like this. This plan is failing already. Oh, I see it. Oh, there are multiple. It's not just one. I'll be fine, though. Damn, that's scary, though. I thought it was just the one. Oh no, I'm failing. Oh, I'm spending so much time fishing because I'm failing. Oh no, what is this? Oh no, so much time is passing by. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm still fine. I should be another spot. There is not another spot. Wait, my engine? No, 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 turn off, turn off. Okay, I'm fine. I am so fucked without an engine, though. Resilience to panic. I, I'm probably going to be dead because my gen engine just got destroyed. Like, just going this far has already taken me two hours. Ah, Christ. Am I gonna make it in time? I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I'm actually... I'm actually stressed out about if I'm gonna make it there. Like, I, I am, but with how much time? And can she do anything about my engine?
No, I didn't lose any of my scrap, at least. Just lost my engine. Her to her to her. Like I, I can't, I can't even grab the crab pots right now because I just don't have the space. I mean, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. I just... I just couldn't navigate. <laughs> I think if I just leave them there, they'll be fine. <clears throat> Thanks again for helping me move out here. I managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. A book. The cover is dusty, but otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use a dock or store, or store stuff here, be my guess. Ah. Oh, okay. I, I thought you would offer something useful. Okay, that, that does work. Cool. I'm just gonna rest. Let's check on the crabs. My last trap, do I have space for it? I cannot make space for it. <clears throat> Okay, no, oh, no, I'm fine. I thought I thought I got lost for a second. I didn't recognize that rock formation, but no, that's Little Meryl. Okay, let's uh, let's let's do some dredging now, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, I wonder if I can find that that one boat again. Ma'am, can you fix my stuff? Thank you. I gotta see what I have. I have mostly scrap metal and cloth. Which I don't think I can really make anything with. Take a little more. For right here. I need... I just mainly need wood. For all these upgrades. And I don't think I have anything... Oh no, I... Why did it let me spend the time if I didn't have anything for it? Oh, can, can I buy in it? I can. Simple design will passively catch fish when deployed. Why is this one for those that want to explore the oceans? That's me! I want to explore! Now I'll put this... I thought I thought I could have both of them at the same time. Coastal. So it's either rod or net, basically. I'll sleep more. Driving mads of lumps twisting and pulling their way under the scales of their vessel. How long will it have? How long can it have lived like this? Oh damn! Hi, hello. Thank you for the raid, pro. Bro, I'm I'm reading that as pro. I'm sorry if that's wrong, but I'm gonna read that as pro. How's it going? What's up? <laughs> oh, prof. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know why I wasn't thinking prof. <laughs> no, I think I, I I really appreciate it, man. What were you streaming? I'm I'm guessing also maybe also um, dredge or were you call me old guy. Oh, are you fellow hag? Okay, yeah. I just started this. I'm really enjoying it, but I'm also like. <laughs> I'm getting way too involved in just exploring and running into the goddamn anglerfish thing. I don't like that thing. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Like, during the daytime, it's super nice, it's super comfy. Thank you for the fall. <laughs> I'm gonna get your name right this time, Prof. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It's simply Domi? Okay. I think I was able to catch that. Because with the emote explosion, I actually have a hard time catching who's following me, but I, I really appreciate it also. I need to get me a model too. Oh, are you without model at the moment? Yeah, if you have the ability to get models, I I think it's fun having a model. Oh no, it's 5 o'clock, it's 5 o'clock, okay. Mm. I'm gonna risk it. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Let me be anorexic. Look, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of spots I fit. He, no, there's a lot of spots here that I can fish. If the angler fish comes, I'll be fine. I can just waste time. Master Roshi, hell yeah! I have lucid breeze. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. So when you say Mr. Mash Roshi, like, I'm going to have to assume that you're, like, a pretty good Dragon Ball fan. Because I think in terms of, like, old badass guys that people bring up, Mash Roshi is not really on that list anymore. So if you bring him up, you, you have to be a, a, an actual OG, <laughs> as your name suggests. Oh my god, are you that much of a hag? Oh no! Ooh, okay. There's no way I'm going this... I'm getting this panicked already. I'm literally just going to swim around wasting time. <gasps> no! No! Why are you here? Oh, I'm fucked. No! Why? Why? Oh my god. I didn't think one would spawn there. Alright, I'm just going back. What was that? Surprisingly, I haven't died. I have come very close there. I have come very close though. And it was up. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what was the last thing I did? Alright. Alright. <laughs> oh, this is actually farther than I thought it was. I'm trying to grow up my beard right now, and it's hell. 
Because I, I still got the COVID beard going on. Because my work just recently lifted the, the mask mandate where I, where I work at because uh, I'm technically um, an essential worker. So I still had to wear my mask even though my state itself was like, okay, yeah, you can take it. You need to take care of some stuff before bed. Yeah, no, thank you so much, Prof. I really appreciate it. You have a good night. What is that? Is that where I need to be? Ooh, what game is this? Ooh, all right, take care. And have a good night at work. I mean, good day, good night. Ugh. Ornate key? Okay. Oh, this thing is massive. What the hell? I'm really large and heavy key. Crest from the f unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Uh, no, I don't want to deal with this again. That's okay. It'll be... It'll be better this time because I'm actually leaving before the anglerfish shows up. No, I'll be gone. I'll be gone. I'll be gone. Stop it. All right. Man, it's stressful at night. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He looks, he seems impatient. All right, hold up. I got a message. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, what is this? Foodie. Oh, hell yeah, I love food. Alright, now we're back. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You had him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth ahead. Now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Or is it locked? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than anticipated. Much farther, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mouth something low in his, under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. <gasps> now go. We have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The book holds powers from the deep. I merely extend its powers toward you. Is there one in particular wish to know more about? The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may be a great deal of stress on your engines. Are there others power? No, never mind. Anything else? How long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island was a, has a certain strength to it. Those dark ballast columns stretching out downwards into the deep. Anything else? Yes. 
He looks at you for a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Or should I look for relics? My. Okay. Alright, well, you have fun while I sleep in my... Ace hat speeds your engine, but increases panic and engine heat. Wait, engine heat is a thing? Oh. Okay, I heard a scary thing, so I'm going straight towards it. That looks like debris. How is this still considered coastal? Yeah, I need... This is cloth. Right? Yeah, I mean, fine, I'll take it. But I need wood. Wood. Oh, wow. This thing hella overheats. As much as I want to try and run, <laughs> run over the dolphins. Where am I right now? Okay. So, I'm not in a point where I can port. Are you an occultist? Yeah, you approach a hooded figure, swathed sway in black, dark blue robes, their faces barely visible. Fisherman, please. Help. You can barely hear the rasping whisper of other wind and waves. Fulfill. The hunger. The hooded figure unfolds an old paper scroll. They point to the shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. A blue mackerel? Uh... I'm pretty sure I passed some blue mackerel earlier. Oh, that was so damn close. Well, homeboy, I want to help you, but also I'm just gonna... You're just gonna see me... 
like literally spin in circles for a bit. <laughs> Just so I can waste time. I'm going to get closer. Wait, there are two sparkles here? Alright, I'll check it out. Oh yeah, that's fine. There's nothing around here right now. And there's at the moment there is nothing around here. Oh no. Oh, I like those emotes. That's cute. Uh, that's... Okay, no, that's not it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that's... What is that? Blackstone? I think it's called Blackstone. Alright, we're fine. Just just stick here. Don't panic. Like, literally and metaphorically. Alright. A rotten mass lays down on the island, half hidden by the foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Bag of the blooms. Okay, good. Uh, and I know that there is a mackerel somewhere. Oh no! Oh! Oh no, it's coming back! Oh! Okay, thanks, I guess. But also, what the hell? Bro, leave me alone! What, are you trying to steal stuff from me? Christ, what is going on? Okay, this should be mackerel. Oh, that macro, that, that, I keep forgetting which this one is. Trout? Odd. This cod is not going to last, I think. With expert precision, they, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear at the heart. 
They stuff it into the mouth unceremoniously. A tiger mackerel? Uh, I don't think I've even seen a tiger mackerel yet. Oh, I'm far away. No, that's that's not real. That's not real. Shut up, I'm almost there. Oh. Traveling merchant, ahoy oh, there. You have a new face? A fisherman, I take it? Perfect. Oh, we should get along like a house on fire. <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant. All rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready for trade. To trade. On this side of the planet, I buy any fish you want to sell. I also take a stock of keep a stock of crab pots here for sale. Most of this gear is super heavy, so I don't offload it out of every pantoon. Pantoon. But come aboard and see what equipment I've got for sale. I want better lights. Oh, I don't have the... I bought the... Well, no, I didn't buy it for nothing. I can just sell it later. Not, not sell it later, but equip it later. We might be used to dry docks at other ports, but we can make the same upgrade to your boat here at the sorting dock. Check it out. Do I have wood? No. Alright, traveling merchant. Hey again. Come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? <laughs> Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of each species of fish, of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to tra track down. I reckon you can share your info with me? Sure, I can help with that. 
Great. The fish I have left to track down are Orfish, Culprit, Eel, Goliath, Tigerfish, and Koala Cat. Koala Cat? I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Tell me about Orfish. Given that the Orfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they live in reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs would seat them. Gulper eels. I know that gulper eels live at the deepest depths imaginable. You have to get some specialist gear to catch one of those. Tell me about Goliath tigerfish. These guys are legitimately scary. They hunt in murky, swampy waters using the shade of trees as cover. Actually, I have no idea what koala kins might be, but they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? So maybe in the volcanic area is the only thing I can think of. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Hmm. What do you know about Gale Cliffs? Well, there's Inkfell just across the bay, which is a dreary little welling town. Those folks there are always in need of something, which keeps me in business. The residents are always talking about the cliffs and most seem afraid. Frankly, I'm not sure why they stay. Occasionally, I hear deep bumbling from within the rocks. I don't tag around here. I don't tag around here for long. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Are you always out on the water? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving. The merchant merchanting is secondary to the traveling, really. I'm more of a merchanting merchanting traveler. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which is only sometimes nice. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you ever see strange things out at sea? Strange things? Plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know. Ha! But hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are and they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. There's a storage here. I'll equip the trolling net. Oh, tiger mackerel. I was already getting this late in game. Oh, okay, I don't entirely understand this one. Oh! Eyeless and mindless, driven only by the desire to consume, or pur purpose set us satiated many times over. Oh, 
Oh, stonefish are scary. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't notice how late it got in. Oh, oh boy. What is it? Okay, yeah. That is where I'm supposed to be for the trolling. No, dredging. Dredging, dredging. Uh, I'll discard one. I'll discard you. There we go, it's a cane black mouth. The shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Most of this a trout feed and decaying but still swims on. Okay, hello there, friend. Uh, I will sell this individually. Never mind. I messed up. <laughs> Literally have one job. Okay, this time, I'll go immediately once I have the tiger fish. You're not following me, are you? Okay. Tiger mackerel. It's tiger mackerel, not tiger fish. If I can find any tiger mackerel. That's new. Oh. I mean, there's kind of literally no reason for me not to dredge. I can just store this stuff with no worry. But I need 
Just a singular tiger mackerel. This area at least feels safer to be out and about during the night. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh. Ah. Greetings. Don't get any many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? Tell me more about the creature that lives in the cliffs? And it's been burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs. You can see the gigantic holes that leave just below the surface. As it forces its way out, it often causes rock falls. So if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Should it catch sight of you, only should be able to outrun it, and it's quite slow. Provided you can navigate the passageways. What else do you want to know? What's happening to these cliffs? They're being consumed from the core by that hateful serpent. Have you seen it? Nobody believed me, not until it started devouring our foundations, opening chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the night to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Someone that used to live here keep the, kept their ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by something fa by some falling rocks and sunk to the bottom. They were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat decorated with all manner of memorabilia from their travels. At low tide, I can still see what's left off the masthead poking through the waves. Do you know how I could clear the debris around here? Hmm. You probably need some explosives to sh shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives. For the welling operations, you see, nesting stuff. But with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want to know? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? Aye. I've been stubbornly out, holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for a long time. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by the land and sea, left alone with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Inkfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You know, see, I used to live in Inkfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? And that's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature... It dragged a breeze from the houses down into the wretched barrels. The crest down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it... It's a large... It's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Thank you, but please be careful.
please. Tiger mackerel. Keep can't I can't keep living like this. I just need a singular tiger mackerel. Just because I accidentally sold the one I had? You're punishing me? Ooh, that's a big boy. I'm just seeing if I can... Nope. That's not mackerel. What do I keep hearing? Really? I just got here. The fish despawned. That's messed up. Okay, let me see what I have in my net. Okay, I do have tiger mackerel. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. I haven't found any wood. Shallow, coastal, shallow. I'm basically going to live out here for a while. should I 
And I'll just drop this once I hit a spot with a lot of crabs. I really wish the speed boost was mapped to um, a button that wasn't the E button. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to catch whatever this is. Yeah, no. Yes. Host numerous glowing shapes live and swore behind the desiccated rib cage, rib cage. The rest of the fish is withering and drained. Ew. So it just has parasites. Hey, what's up, Nox? How was your nap? Okay, ding. Did Mars take a nap too? That's an important question, actually. Oh, okay, they stay fresh in here too. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost fulfilled. This one is a snake mackerel. Bro, why do you want only mackerels? I don't think this is even something I can get nearby. He cuddled a little, little but didn't sleep. Why is Mars terrible? He had prime opportunity to take a nap. Artifact Manifest. That's why Grand Prize. Mr. Michael Schultz. Gail Cliffs. Oaken Music Bar purchased from the Antiquary Antiqua A little marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has a letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in a reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mask. Carved wooden tribal mask set to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evils. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12 piece tea set. Bone china. Six cups times six socks and six saucer. Acquired from the eastern de dealer. Do not use. Jar of earth. A jar containing earth from meteorite impact site. Allegedly. Sir, if you tell me where I can get tiger mackerel, I will get you tiger mackerel. Wait, what, what do I have? I know I have something else. Blue mackerel, tiger mackerel. No, what do you want? I already forgot what you want. <laughs> God damn it. Snake mackerel. This can only end badly.
but I plan for it to end well. That scared me. <laughs> nope, I already have you. No, fuck off! Fuck off! Oh! <laughs> I'll make myself insane so I don't go insane. <laughs> Black sea bass. Okay, no, I'm good. All I've been doing is just hang. Hanging around this area, just farming fish. Because it's kind of safe here. I've had no major things happen so far. This ugly guy. I need wood. Please, game. Oh, this looks like wood. Mm, I'm fine. I mean, fine, whatever. These are also useful. space for another wood so I'll leave it at the What is it? Where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Anything else? Do you know of any odd characters around these parts? Have you heard the tale of Magran? He was an old weller from these parts. As the wells got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magran, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. 
He formed an, a natural attachment to a scroll he found on one of his tri these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magran the Fish Man. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed at night, and old Mulgran was nowhere to be found. Nor has he been seen since. Anything else? What can you tell me about the cliffs? Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as a hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed. The treasure hoards left and abandoned and claimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conga ears to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Conga ears. Have I seen any? Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. An age conger eel? Yes, thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Where can I catch in you? Ah, mm. oh, yes, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Okay, yeah, I can I can do this. What is it? I heard you used to make explosions. Explosives. I I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but I got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I may be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. Ah, uh, but I'm not sure. I don't sell the energy these days. I'd have, to, I'd have a use for some explosives like that. Alright, I'll think on it some more. But I make no promises. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Okay. Um. Well, my audio's back, and let's get my VTuber back to life. Okay, looks like it works. I'm gonna open up my stream just so I can see it. Do 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 do. I'm gonna open up my stream just so I can see it. Do 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 do. Gonna open. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Okay. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now. The devil. Anything else? Have you heard about any strange things in the area? Some time ago, just after the last hole was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from the Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed, in her packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. 
and they were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear from them since. What can you tell me about Inkfell? Inkfell used to be a welling town, emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the wells got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us. But we're scrapping by for a new candle. Mechanic shovel. Well, back I go to look for eels. Oh wait. Yeah, no, I gotta... I gotta sell stuff first. I gotta sell some fin finches. No, wait, I'm gonna use these right now. Oh. A gift from my most loyal customer. Yeah, I want you to have this. She takes a book from a nearby shelf and hands it to you. Looking through it, you see page, page corners turned in and handwritten notes in the margins. Cargo spaces to also hold rods. To also hold engines. Wait, can I have multiple engines? To also hold lights. Yes, this I do want. I can have multiple engines, can't I? Damn. I am zooming now. Oh wait, it's not nighttime anymore. Well. Crabs! 
crabs. Ooh, you are you are a lad. Can I get you? I don't think so. No, cause I don't have the goddamn good to prefer. The woo boo boo. I don't know what English is. Ah, those are big boys. This isn't, no, it's not a mutated crab. Yeah, I fucking love inventory management. Yeah. I'm going to forget about this in a, like another day. I keep forgetting to go back and pick up my other crab pots. Those aren't real. That's fake. Stop it. Oh no, maybe it's real. Let me let me crash into you. What did I even sell? Um, it, 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 it's fine. Alright, I gotta go get eels. I think I'm gonna grab eels, and then I think I'm gonna finally go grab my crab pots. Ew. Flesh and scale intent on shuffling away from a creature struggling to maintain its moral form. Oh, oh! No, why are you real? Oh! <laughs> Okay, my last save was not that far away, though. Uh, that's unfortunate, though. Okay, what's in my cabin? Okay, do crabs not have mutated variants? Oh, I can I can search through just area. Okay, that's good. That's a sunfish. That's a goddamn sunfish.
Oh, I can fucking see it. Okay, I need eels. I, I want to try and get another mutated variant, though. Drywall, are you eating asbestos' food? Oh no, asbestos is eating asbestos' food. Okay, where are the goddamn... Where are the goddamn eels? What are you gonna do? Follow me into open wa- Oh, okay, you are. How long are you going to follow me for? Yeah, get out of here. You're ugly. Specifically, wants a rotting conquer eel. Of all things, she says is preparing for me. Once I catch one, I should be able to hold on to it. When he starts to rot pretty quickly up the sink. In the center of Gale Cliffs. So, am I. So, it should be around here then, right? This is the one I keep running into. I gotta start dredging more. But I won't find these goddamn eels. Yeah, I can't catch that. That could be them, like, literally right up ahead. Oh, where are you? Don't do this to me. Leave me alone. Let me fish. Oh, 
Let me fish. Okay, are you gonna are you gonna fuck off now? Okay, I only need one eel. Oh, why do I, but drywall? No, you don't get treats right now. No. What are you doing? No, get down. Get down. You get treats when you do something to deserve them, Drywall. You don't get treats just because you get up there and you try and get them. That's not how it works. And you definitely don't get trees if you jump onto my little table that's on the verge of breaking. Eh? Oh. It's chasing me again. Oh, that's a lot. This is shallow. I mean, I can buy this. Should I? Nah. Not yet, at least. The thing is so annoying, though. Hello again. What can I do for you? Is this your family crest? You found it! I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother in Ingfell? Tell him... Tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. I mean, it's not like you can do it. You don't got a ship. <laughs> yeah, give me tiny fish. 
I can shove so many of these in my mouth. Your brother's probably just gonna call you a bitch. <laughs> what is it? Gods. I haven't seen this. Hmm. So he did take it. I knew it. He's in real trouble over there. Your brother needs to move back here. Your brother's sorry, will you let him come home? Hey, what's up, sauce? Your brother's sorry, will you let him come home? Hmm. I don't know if... I was in the right state when he left. Okay. Fine. You can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being, but I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See... I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. Oh, I'm pretty. Oh, that's good. So it was a really light day today. I was able to set a charge, but the cliffs seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? Cleaning's important. Keep up your cleaning. Hmm. Oh yeah, I've really liked this game so far. Okay, this fish is almost rotting. What? No, I'm just gonna sleep. I'm actually gonna sleep. Oh, bro! Kill me. Kill me. Kill me right now. You made me lose the eel. You made me lose the goddamn eel. I am not leaving until you come back and you just kill me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash myself. I'm gonna crash. Ah! Yeah, it's just living in these cliffs.
pile of loose debris. In the gaps between the rocks, you can see what appear to be large white teeth. Excuse me? There's a long fuse trailing from the inside. This must be the location where the willow wants clear for a shortcut. Light the fuse? You light the fuse. The br debris combo array. <laughs> Oh yeah, there there's like an insati insanity mechanic in this game. Now I already fished like 20,000 of you. I'm pretty sure I even have like your mutated variety. Yeah, there's only one aberration. Okay, you have an aberration, so I have to fish you. Jesus. Why did you get both of them? <laughs> You only added one extra. <laughs> okay, it's rotting. Keep doing that. Let's fucking go. Oh, my God, stop with the tornadoes. Here's your rotting eel, milady. Perfect, this will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum and thanks. That's a that's a pretty good small sum, okay. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. God's the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. How long is Kenshi? Because you've been playing it for a while now. Do I even have space for your brother? Yeah. Ah. Hello again. What can I do for you? Your brother forgives you. He's found you a place to stay. He does? That's a huge weight off my chest. Once old, I highly remembered it was there. Alright, well, I'm packed and ready to go. The hermit climbs aboard with all his belongings. Oh, my second one, but... I'm taking my time and learning some more story stuff. Okay. Does it have like story in the background that you have to read shit for? Like the from software specialty? Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old well of standing on the dock waiting for him. Little brother, you were home. I, I'm sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away from down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. No, oh, stranger. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosive. Come by the old welling yard some any time. Hey, this is on the house. That's for your help.
Oh, 40? That's not that much. I know a few places I can use this. Alright, I'm gonna sell like the one fish I have because I want to try and hunt for a mutated eel. These things are everywhere. God damn. Increases sell price. Ooh, okay. That's actually a really good one. That's the Brie, that's the Brie. Right. Fuck off, leave me alone. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I crash. Oh! Just kill me. Yeah, man, you don't, you don't have to, well, I don't know how long you, how often you've been streaming, but it feels like whenever I'm awake, you're, you're streaming and that's, that's a bit. Okay, yeah. I knew you were streaming a bit during the past couple of days. Thank you, game. Ah, uh, where is it? Okay, no, I th I think that's actually the sunlight then. No, it's here. Ah, oh, fuck off! Leave me alone.
I'm literally running laps around you. I can't tell. <sighs> oh my god, no, you're gonna bite me. Oh no, you're fucking off. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they're, they're, they're shit in the water. Like, in the, in the first area, there's, like, when it, when it's nighttime, there are angler fishes that, that, like, they're massive. And they're, they're, like, little, their antenna thing, it pretends to be a boat. So it fucking really scared me the first time I saw it. A large oak box was whispered hand crank on the side and immense a low rhythmic chime as it rocks with the waves. Don't rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Yeah, no, it was it was really cool, but it, it like it legitimately got me the first time. Like this thing right now, honestly, it's not it's not annoying. It doesn't do anything. Well, no, it's annoying, but it doesn't really do anything if I'm just like, you know, being careful and avoiding it. But I'm trying to fish. And the thing I'm trying to fish for is in that specific area where the thing comes from all the time. So it's annoying. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Shapes were inside bulging, clouded eyes, blinded by the light of the surface, but perfectly suited for searching the depths. I can't do anything because I need I need wood. I'll sleep and then I gotta I gotta get crab pots. Oh my god, stop! Oh, my engine blew out! I 
I want I want there to be a way to kill this thing. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to get this goddamn eel. Okay, there's nothing there. So I'm gonna get my crab pot, then I'm gonna go back to the weird guy. And then I'm gonna get the rest of my crab pots. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get this. I don't have... Wait, no, I do have the right fishing... No. I need a trawling line. God! No! No! Sucks because I can't put them back. How much space do I need? Hang on, I hear drywall doing something. Okay. <sighs> Thankfully, as long as I'm not doing anything, time doesn't progress in the game. Since do you still want to try out Raft and Crab Champions at some point? Crab Champions is the is a battle royale, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, 
Uh oh. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my hydraulic rod again. Okay, we can... Yeah, if I keep going this way, I'll, I'll get to Blackstone. Alright, I'm probably going to end in a bit, too. Because it's been almost five hours. How have I been going for four and a half hours so far? This. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given you by the mayor, except this one has a huge breach on the side. You're tied up alongside the old wreck. Check out the cargo. You poke through the cargo. A few items remain not yet lost to sea. Cabin, look for the look in the trying to find a loose four board. Oh, let me does all the options. The equipment still there, though. Surely, exposure to the elements of right, the eternals you angled over her radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off, you put it in your pocket to read later. The covers have been completely methodically emptied, all the drawers are missing. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken, fog core five, equal rise, he knows. What?
Okay. Wrecked ship. Okay, yeah, I can't automatically send stuff to storage. I need wood. I'm gonna try and get wood though. All right, that's all I can carry for now. That's fine. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Ah, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons shrilling from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown by, high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The, rest at stellar, the reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your journey. Anything else? Why can't you search for these relics yourselves? The ocean no longer wishes to cooperate. As the waves are unsafe for me, you will be my surrogate. Anything else? What are you doing with these relics? Why? Collecting them, of course. An investment for times to come. Use these words will induce a trance-like state, while in this state time will pass in the blink of an eye. When it is over, you will find yourself here. As always, I caution against overusing this. Selectively and strategically utilizing it when you need it most.
The lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. And I saw you swelling out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? What's the problem? It feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. anything I'm going too fast. Yes. I'm going to take what one I can.
Leave me alone. You know, just kill me. <sighs> Is it still out there? No, it's gone. I'll get rid of these crabs. I think everything should be fine. Hey, what's up, Naruto? <laughs> How's it going? Right, right, right. Wood, yes. Uh, 95? Yep, I got the money for that. We need a little bit of a lot. Mainly just wood. I think a lot of the stuff I do have already. I know I got the bolt cloths. Uh, yeah, I just need more wood. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> the goddamn tragedy. Ooh, you, you're funky. I don't like that. Yeah, my other crab pot is around there. What was that? Oh, you just kind of offer nothing. I thought it was something new. Do I have one of these? Yeah, I've, I've caught this before. Okay, I'm fine. Ooh. 
Huh? Infected with what? How are the hot pockets? They're fully cheese thick, stealthy. How are you looking at it? I like it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the gameplay look. Fish. Is that it? Fish. Shit, well, guess I gotta play the game at some point soon now. She got a very well nice fish monger dying because his leg got caught in that. Yeah? Upgrade your vessel to tell tier 2 hull and adds 5 new cargo space. <gasps> Yeah, bigger ship. What are you gonna do to him? Can't say I do. Okay. This still does not. Where is she? Oh, under my desk again? Yeah, it, it's going. She feels so much healthier. What do you mean? Her skin? Uh huh. It just feels a lot more healthier. And her hair, too. What? This is coming from a man who did animal science for two years. She seems a lot more healthier. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah. Anyways, when are we gonna give her an egg? When are you gonna give her a shower? Oh, that's my job? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Tomorrow? Just so I don't fall asleep? <laughs> yeah, that's a spice in your life that you need. What is that in my life? I need a shower. So, what, what, do you, what should we do for dinner tomorrow? Die? <laughs> I don't know where Joshua is though. I thought he was supposed to be back today. Yeah, same thing here. Maybe he just caught up in like an ice storm or something. Maybe he died for all we know. Oh, I'm fine with that because, you know. You're, I am streaming, you know that, right? Oh, well, I'm fine with it because Ma has a secure job now. Fortnite. night. Good night, I guess. Alright, on that note, I'm just gonna call it good for the night, because it's been five hours, what? How? I've just been fishing! How's it been five hours? Alright, let me just... Just five hours of fishing. Alright. I'm gonna call that good though. Uh, so thank you anyone that showed up. Thank you... Prof. Yeah, I believe that was his name. Prof, I know, I know you're long gone by now, but thank you so much for the raid, man. I really appreciate it. Casual fishing. I mean, it's just just fishing. It's good, wholesome fishing. Uh, anyone that's up, I really appreciate it. Uh, I will try and stream again later today because it's over past midnight. And yeah. Uh, thank you, anyone that stopped by. Managed to even even the lurkers. Appreciate all of you, each and every single one of you. Hope you have a good day. I will try and stream again later today. And have a good day, have a good night, have a good whatever happens to be for you. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. Goodbye. Once I get to my screen, hang on. Hold up. Okay, uh, let me let me find a decent song that I can end on. Uh...
What's a decent song that I can end on? Uh, I'm looking. I don't think I have anything super good. Like, I want something short. I want something short. That also probably is a copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, you know what? This is a catchy song. Let's play this. There is a girl in the lobby of a cheap hotel She's got her eyes fixed on the floor She is collecting pieces of the broken hearts Of the people who were there before And it's alright, everybody's on their own Lying wide awake at night And it's alright, being far away from home between the neon lights do, 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 do you want me to Spend some time sitting next to you Do, 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 do you wonder why Is there more than meets Is there more than meets the eye He's got his eyes fixed on the screen He's taking pictures of his empty cup Like it's the cover of a magazine And it's alright, everybody's on their own Pretending everything's fine Yeah, it's alright that you're sleeping with your phone the static makes you wonder why Do, 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 do you want me to Spend some time sitting next to you Wait, whoa, 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 I saw... Hang on, I saw that my friend Mavs is streaming, so we're just gonna raid her. I I didn't notice a little bit ago, but we're gonna raid her. Uh, slash raid. That's not slash. I don't even know who's still here, but we're gonna raid. We'll just drag whoever the hell we can. Mabs, uh, for those who are not aware, she is a VTuber artist and also Rigger. Uh, she might be doing a working stream right now. Uh, but yeah, she's a cool person. I, I think she's great. Uh, if you're looking for VTuber models and you have the money for it, she doesn't have openings right now, but you know, she's a good person. I think she's cool. <laughs> 